<laughs> I already showed him that part. Did you show him that part? Yeah, tell him what we're doing next. Well, right now, Derek's up in the tree. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, he's right there. He's like way up there. Yeah, yeah. It's a little windy. Yeah, it is a little windy. He's a little scared. He's a little We got the mini X here, and so we took out a couple of trees. And we took pulled all these poles out really quick. Uh, my buddy Chad at Rescue One Plumbing was letting me use his bobcat as a mini X. So we need plumbing. He's the man to call. Awesome, yeah. awesome guy, nice guy. Yep, throw him out a little feeler. Yeah. <laughs> what do they call that? What's out? his number? <sighs> Just a second, we'll tell you his number in case you need any plumbing. One minute. <laughs> do, do, do. Chad, do you want to plumbing? It's 640-7301. 640-7301. Okay, yep. yep. if you need plumbing, that's the guy to call. He's yep. super, super nice. He's a super good guy. I like him. Okay, so you want to head back here then? I don't really want to go that way because he's going to start cutting in a second. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> where we're walking. I know where we're Safety first, people. Yes. Just in case OSHA is watching. Don't, don't Use your harnesses. Don't look at our I already told them that it's a mess back here. Yeah. Well, I've done some stuff. I'm not going all the way down there. Just tell them from here. No. Well, you can see why I have a hole next to the bass pond. See how deep it is. This deep. Seriously. It's crazy. The guy that lived here was a builder. He must have been in the concrete trade. Because sure. <laughs> everything he touched with concrete is like three times over done what it should be. Yeah. I mean, he, it's like a little crazy. He must have got a really good deal of concrete because he just poured like there's no more. <laughs> Except for a driveway. You think yeah. he would pour the driveway? Yeah. Maybe he didn't get, didn't get around it. Maybe that's the thing. So the shed still needs to go. I showed him the shed. It's yeah, big. I got my buddy, he's coming. We're gonna try to get that tomorrow. Hopefully he wants it. Hopefully we can get it out. Nah. You can see where we're starting to feel. I get showed him that a little bit. From the, from the fences and stuff like that. We're just gonna bury all the concrete on site. Yeah. Easier. That we're gonna have to get a jackhammer for. And just, you know, one of those big, big excavators with the jackhammers on. Here and then it rocks the ground for a mile around and just pound away at it. Yep, that's what we're gonna have to have there. And got a pile of rock right there that is in the way, so I had to push, try to push it out of the way. And so. So what are you doing next? Well, I gotta go from that teleport to that electric pole all the way to the side of the house tomorrow. Over that's here. Plan. And now we're gonna do the underground electrical con uh, conduit so we can get electricity buried in the ground for the house. So. I'm gonna try to get the fence dug out tomorrow. XL is gonna be out here Monday or Tuesday to measure the length of it, see how much wire they need, and then um, finish getting it all hooked up, get our permit finalized, and get XL out here on the wire and energize. So that's yeah, because the breaker box is too small. Way too small. There's not enough. There's no more breakers. Left. It's literally about that many breakers. I think it's a ten space or something. So. There's not enough space there to do anything because we want to add. Well, let's see. So we're going to redo the kitchen. Uh -huh. Not enough breakers to redo the kitchen. Redo the living room. There's not enough breakers to redo the bathroom. We're redoing point. this deck. <laughs> that deck is going to go away. There's going to be a new deck across the back. It's going to go all the way. But here's the deal that deck goes underneath that darn breezeway. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> they built the deck, that breezeway on top of the deck. So, yeah. One mess at a time. <laughs> right now, as you can tell. And then yeah. once he's done with the tree, he's going to start, I think, on flower beds, isn't he? Uh, well, he's going to get rid of that elm tree down right there. there. In the way, and I think that'll be the last big tree, really. Yeah. Then yeah. we need to put some trees in here eventually. <laughs> some point, yeah. There it is, fall with the trees in after we get, hopefully, yeah. get a little Did you guys see our view, by the way? Our view is the awesomest. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Yeah. We're gonna try to build a rock retaining wall over there. So yeah. Stacked rock. About eight feet tall. There. 
Can you see, see it? It's kind of got that over right there. Too. Yeah. So we're going to try to do the same thing over there, build it up, and then pile in the dirt. So, and then we're going we're gonna to terrace all this out, and out. Then bring in some nice new tops. So, anybody know what those purple flowers are out there? Right there. It's probably just a weed. It's a creep. <laughs> well, you know what? When all you got is barren dirt, that's kind of Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? We're enjoying kind of the purple. Right that's now. rabbit brush. What? That's rabbit brush. And that is a weed. Yeah, and well, that's kind of pretty right now. Yeah, it's you know what? A native. I might try to dig that up and transplant that down there on the yeah. state Yeah, the rabbit brush is pretty in spring and fall. Yeah. So on the state side, so we own from that where that yellow wire is. We own that right there to the corner of that guy's face. So on the state side, I'm gonna try to put some native plants out there and put just enough irrigation out there to keep them wet so they grow and flourish and make it look real native and, and clean and. Yeah. Native-ish. Native-ish. Native is that a word? It is today. We are going to put native plants on the other side of the fence. <laughs> and make it look native-ish. <laughs> anyway, okay. All right, so that's what we're doing. So that's what we've done today. So. Have a good night. Talk to y'all later. Bye.